Copenhagen. It's a big city somehow, but also a small city. So it's a big small city or a small big city. Hi, my name is Philip. I'm a senior research advisor and I'm the host for the Europe's Kitchen event in Copenhagen. I'm Patricia Portela. I am from Portugal. I am Philip's guest at the Europe's Kitchen project in Copenhagen. Everybody is biking and there's even a bike rush hour in the morning. I think the world and, and Europe can learn a lot uh, of Copenhagen. I mean, Copenhagen has the goal to be climate neutral by 2025. My name is Priya Basil and I'm the curator of Europe's Kitchen. What's at the core of this project is that art and food come together at a table somewhere. This is a, a continuous thread. So the table might be in a playground in one country, in a town square in another country, um, in somebody's backyard. Europe's Kitchen will happen in 11 different cities with 11 different artists and each artist has the chance to arrange an event in this foreign city that they don't know with people from there who they don't know. Food is cultural and it's social and it's biological. Like you need to eat to keep yourself alive but you also need to gather and you need to get together to also cook, to also produce the food and the ingredients to eat and you need to share it otherwise you just throw it away so it's it's something that actually it says a lot about us so the, the kitchen has always been like the center of a lot of topics and also a center to 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 debate europe and common relationships so when this project arrived it was just perfect I love to have guests, I love to talk to people, I love to get to know new people and I thought it would be wonderful if, if I was allowed to be the host, so I'm, I'm actually quite honored. And in Denmark, being together, cooking together, not just having very formal dinners or something like that, but it's a very informal way to, to come into contact with people, to talk to people. With all that happened, we were not sure if I was going to ever get here. So I thought, well, I don't need to get there, but the piece has to get there. I'm a compulsive letter writer, I always was. To write a letter, to address it to somebody, let alone somebody you don't know, to explain yourself and to wait for it to arrive and so on, there's a lot of rituals involved. So I thought, if I share it through the guests, the ingredients through the guests and the stories through the guests, when they gather, they bring me along. Even if I can't move in, even if I cannot take a plane to get to Copenhagen, I will get there through my peace. I invited a bunch of people that do not know each other with different backgrounds, nationalities and, and so on and so forth. So I'm very much looking forward that they communicate to each other and get to know each other. Europe's Kitchen is a project to bring people together. It's about sensuality, it's about sharing, exchanging, and having a completely different look at Europe. Um, a look that is critical, but at the same time tries to to find the best flavors of Europe. Patricia Portella found a very interesting expression for all these flavors in her work. She took a painting from the 16th century done by the Italian painter Tintoretto, The Origin of the Milky Way, and built a series of stories out of these. The twist to the story was that the painting was also done during another plague, the bubonic plague in Venice in the 16th century. At the table, it suddenly became clear that the guests, the letters, the ingredients that formed the meal we were eating, the stories Patricia had told us, these were all parts of this art piece that she made for this one evening in Copenhagen. And we being present there, both had the chance to experience it and to make it. And that's Europe's Kitchen, this collective attempt to think about and imagine and be Europe in a different way. Thank you.
It's a very special event and it's a very special format, so all of us were a bit nervous. I'm very proud to be starting this project and to be with Priya and to be here in Copenhagen and in Denmark and trying something that we don't know what it is, but that we all find very urgent. So I'm very happy and I, I wish the best of luck to all of the other artists who are going to do different projects. And I'm sure that in six months time, we will have a different idea of the whole project and of also of what kind of Europe idea do we want.